Hey cruisers, I'm Sherry with CruiseTipsTV.com and today we are bringing you some inside cabin hacks. We are on a cruise this week. We are actually sailing in a balcony. We've got an incredible deal in a balcony. However, sometimes that is not the case and sometimes we choose an inside cabin. Whether you are sailing in an inside, an ocean view, a balcony, or a mini suite, a lot of these uh, cabin hacks are going to apply to your cruise, but these are specially designed for people who are cruising in a cabin with limited space. Maybe it's like a smaller balcony or an inside cabin where you want to maximize that space. So the first thing that you can do if you're cruising in an inside cabin and you don't have a balcony view is you can turn the television on and on many cruise lines there is a TV channel that will show you a view to the outside so you can see the front of the ship. Uh, from your television, which is so cool. Like when you pull into port, you can actually see where you are. This really gives you the illusion of uh, being able to see outside and having a little bit more space. So that is hack number one. Hack number two is one you've heard us talk about before. This is one of our favorite cruise industry hacks, and that is to use magnets on your cruise. Most cruise ship walls are metal, meaning that they work with magnets. So you can put all kinds of things on magnets. We like to put our hats on magnets. We like to put our wall mount itinerary on magnets. Now, if you're sailing in an inside cabin and you want an awesome hack, many of our community members report that you can actually take these magnets and place them up on the ceiling. Now I'm five foot zero, so right now I can't reach the ceiling. But what you can do with these is you can put up a couple of different magnets, one on each side of the room, bring a shower curtain, or even just use a sheet, and you can make a makeshift room divider. So let's just say in your cabin you have someone sleeping in the main bed and then you have someone sleeping on a sofa bed. Makeshift room divider, two magnets, sheet between, really, really cool hack. One of my favorite cruise hacks. All right, let's talk about the desk space and charging your stuff. Now if you've ever been on a cruise before, you know that a lot of cruise cabins don't have a lot of outlets, don't have a lot of plugs. Some of them do, some of them don't. Sometimes you're only gonna get one plug. Like in this cabin, as you can see right here, we've got just these, um, these 220 volt plugs here and a couple of USBs. Now this is a new ship, so that's not too shabby. But check your cruise line's allowable items area and see if you're allowed to bring something like this. This is a USB charging hub. These are a fantastic way to maximize your charging. Now you may not need it, but if you're on an older ship, chances are you're probably going to need a little bit of extra help with your charging. Let's talk about hidden storage for a moment. Especially if you're sailing in an inside cabin, you may not know that your bedside tables actually open up and offer you some additional storage. I think sometimes we just forget about these little bedside tables, but if you look inside, you can see there's a decent amount of storage. You could probably get some soda, water, hats, books, clothes, shoes, a lot of different things in there. So maximize that hidden storage like your bedside table. Now, did you know, you might already know this one, that you can store your luggage under the bed. You don't need to put it in the closet and use a bunch of that space. Just simply pop your luggage under the bed. You just slide it right under. It's very, very easy to do. So there it is. All of our luggage is out of the way. We don't have to see it for the rest of the week. You could even put your um, dirty laundry in there or you could use a hamper. All right, another awesome hack we have for you is to use hanging organizers in your room. We're gonna show you two ways that we do this. One of them is in your restroom. So we use a hanging toiletry organizer to keep things off of the countertops because the countertops can get cluttered fast. You'll also notice, look, there are a number of hooks available here. And if you look over by the air conditioner, there's another hook here. Make sure that you are maximizing these hooks because these are super duper handy and helpful to keep things off of those surfaces and to keep your inside cabin super organized. Now I have one more way that I use hanging organizers and that is in my closet. I actually pack a jewelry roll and we're gonna link to all this cool stuff that we have below in uh, the description of this video. but. I simply pop all of my jewelry in here, which I love, and I put it in my closet. I don't know how this got all cattywampus, 
<laughs> but it did. I think what I meant to do is hang it from here. These have these little hanging hooks on them. They're super cool. So another great way to keep things off of the surfaces of your cabin. Now there's another thing that you may not know about your inside cabin that I think is pretty cool. Did you know that you can, if you feel that you have an excess of furniture, like for example, say you don't need this bedside table right here, you could actually have this removed by your stateroom steward if it's in your way. You can just simply say, hey, I actually don't need this. Could I have it removed? Or you could reconfigure some of the furniture in your room. So you could take this table if it's in the way and you could push it underneath the vanity, for example. That's always a possibility for you. So just know that that's an option. Okay, we're getting down to our last couple of tips. I think you're really gonna enjoy these. If you feel like you're on vacation, you're on a cruise and you just keep getting overwhelmed with paper products, you can bring just one single folder with you to put all of your papers in. And this doesn't take a whole lot of effort at all, but as you can see, this is keeping a lot of our paper really organized. In here, we have some uh, notes from the captain, I have spa prices, I have some shore excursion information, and I have my receipts. Keeping your receipts put away and in one place just makes it so much easier. They kind of tend to fly all around and get gum up the works in the drawers. So I prefer to keep them in a folder and you can just kind of slide that right away and it's nice and out of the way and everybody knows where to put all the paper stuff, right? Just keeps it nice and organized. Okay, number 10, last inside cabin hack for you today is to utilize the glassware in your cabin. This is actually kind of a fun tip that I love and this can be used for any type of cabin that you're booking. But typically, you're gonna get a good old bucket of ice and you're going to get a few different types of glasses in your cabin. We like to put things in these, like for example, my husband's hydration multiplier is in there. And for me, it's always my martini glass full of lipstick. I actually borrowed this one from a bar, but I love just having my lipstick out. I think it's just so much easier. So those, my friends, are our inside cabin hacks for you today. I would love to hear from you. If you've cruised in an inside cabin and we missed a tip, would you leave your inside cabin hack down in the comments? We'd also like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, and check out our Intro to Cruising Masterclass. All of that, including a link and a discount for our masterclass will be in the description of this video. Hope you have an absolutely wonderful cruise. Happy planning, friends. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.